other coders. In this video, we're going to be solving a very simple yet very popular challenge called sort the string. So we need to write a function to sort the words in a string. As an input, this function will receive a string full of words, of course, and as the output, we're going to need to output that same string of words sorted alphabetically. However, there are a few conditions, such as we should ignore the case. In this example, the is equal to the. It doesn't matter if it's written all caps or not. But we must preserve the case as well. So let's have a look at the examples. Here are function sort words. We have three words, naming, talking and shouting. Naming begins with capital letter, shouting all caps. And here we have an output. All words in a string sorted alphabetically, but they still have this capital letter for naming and all caps for shouting. Pause the video here and give it a try. All right, so I'm going to be using Google Colab, and here, right at the top, you can see the four lines of how I'm going to solve the challenge so the permutations if you'd like that illustrate that i will take these um, words and i'll prepend them with their doubles but in the lower register and then i'll sort them and i'll throw these prepended doubles away that way we'll be left with the original set of words but this time they will be sorted alphabetically and this will also allow us to preserve the case. All right, here I declare my function and I'll call it sort words. And here's the input, so the string we're going to be passing. And inside the function, I'm going to declare variable words that will hold the result of the split. In other words, we're going to split this string, in this case, by the space, but you can do that by any other delimiter, like comma. On the line below, I am prepending the words in a string that now been split it with their lowercase double. And after we've done that, we can actually do some sorting. So I'm going to use the sort function. All right, and now that they are sorted alphabetically, we can actually get rid of this lowercase double. And the only thing that will be left to do after that is to return that string. But right now I've made a split by the space. I should have done it with the comma, but nonetheless, I will use the join operator to put these words back into a string together. So I'll join them together into a string. However, this illustrates the idea. So let's call the function with probably the same set of words, um, the same string that we have on the top. So naming, talking and shouting. And if we've done everything correctly, we're going to have pretty much the naming, shouting and talking. Pretty much the expected result, but as I've said, I should have used the comma as a separator, but I've noticed this only after I've recorded the video. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed solving this challenge. And that was V. Please give this video Emperor's thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.